it's not a controller video. Uh, uh, this controller broke. Uh, two paddles on the back right here. It had broke um, while I was pressing it. As you can see, this shit broke off. Uh, I, I bought this controller for $135 off a dude who made it. And it's probably one of the worst purchases I've ever made because this shit didn't last that long. This shit didn't last long. Uh, also, um, this is the AM controller. My first AM controller. Now, I have still have no problem with the controller. What happened was when PlayStation came out with an update, PlayStation 5 came out with an update, not the one recently, but the one before this one, it gave a lot of controllers, um, what do you call that, uh, stick drift. My controller was never stick drift until, until that update. So I had to purchase another one. So you can see it. I, I, I ordered this one off of uh, aim dot, uh, controller dot com. This one coming from Prime. So it's coming from any controller, but it's coming from like a, I get remote location or shit like that. But anyway, let's open it up. Let's open it up. There we go. Making a quick video. Let me get it. I'm using a damn butter knife. All right. Let's All right, boom. In your controller box, put the box right here. I ain't never opened it yet, as you can see. Shit hot as a motherfucker. All right, here's the uh, here's the booklet. Gain an advantage. Uh, I advise everybody to get these controllers, man. I, they, they last super long. They got mouse and keyboards. I didn't know this. They got mouses and keyboards and stuff like that. Oh, hold on. Mouse and keyboards. Mouse pad, keyboards. Um. See the controllers, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 controller right here, um, Xbox One or Xbox Series X controllers. Pretty good, I like it. And here's the remapping guide to help you remap the controller and stuff like that. Now, what I don't like about these is the ones you get from Amazon, they don't have grips on the back, so you're not going to get this. Grip, grip on your back, so I kind of knew that. But anyway, here's the the PlayStation booklet. All right, you can pull the controller out. Now this bitch feels nice. This bitch feel nice. This feel actually, this actually built. It's a built. Uh, I think it's a different build. Look at it. It's a different build. Look at the. Let me see if I can see it. Look at the, the difference. It's a little different. Uh, this one. This one feels like a very original controller. Like it feels very like the, the the stock controller. All they did add a different back to it a little bit. The grip. This one feels much better to me. Um, it feels better, a little bit more better quality, sturdy and stuff like that. This is this is a different back right here. Um, here's the back. Uh, the grips. The grip is not that bad. I don't see no problem with it. But I feel like it's, it's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Um, I like it. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start ordering some more of these controllers. I like red and black, as you can see. Red is my favorite color. Uh, I don't. Black is not my favorite color, but it's you know, it goes well with red. But this is the controller right here. Type C. Uh, the, the difference is between this one and this one. You can see it like the the paddles actually. It's a different different kind of paddles. To be to be honest with you, the back of the paddles is very different. Um, this is like you can see. This is more curved up. And this one is kind of a little, little bit more flattened. Well, I don't know if you see it. This is more curved up, and this is more a little flat. You kind of see it? So it's not as hard when it comes to you, you holding your hand and stuff right here. Uh, this one, you can see, it's kind of curved up a little bit. Uh, I also think, to my to my looking, maybe it's because they got a different design right here at the top. This looks a little bit lower, but it, again, it could be that the this piece right here is different. Than this one this one like, like i say it's pretty much the same as the stock controller but the uh, they added grip to it um if you can look at it i like it uh the sticks are different too matter of fact it is different um these are amp controller sticks you could actually take these off now what my problem with this in particular my problem with this in particular the more you take take these off the more you wear down the um the hexagon in here so the hexagon is like if you look at the let me see if it focus focus well this piece right here is 
you got to put it in um, to fit this. And uh, a lot of times, when I, I notice when I play this, um, it'll come off. Because if I press forward like this, it'll come off like this. I never did like that. So um, I'm glad that they stick with the stock um, thing, the stock uh, analogs, which is really good for me. And again, it feels almost it's to me like right now like this feels a little bit bulkier this feels a little bit bulkier than this this feels most flat and I, I think it's also because it yeah, put a different back design and um yeah they put a different back design now what i do is i'm gonna take i'm gonna look i'm gonna test this out but i'm gonna try to take these bottom two off because it's too kind of too long for me i don't i don't like it on my my hand i don't like using my ring fingers to uh press a button so i might just use these two at the top which is better for my hands and i can focus on that also i use control freaks i don't i don't like using uh the only control i would use with the the, the analogs on the controller is scuff i like scuff controller but it don't last long but you could i have like old um i have old uh fps freaks uh i have old fps freaks and they still last to this day like i literally have them from like five or six years and they're still in good condition they they take their time with these and it's they, they only like they're like 20 dollars me something like 15. <clears throat> but when <clears throat> you get a scuff controller and let me see if got a scuff. Here's, here's a scuff right they get these get worn out so easily this is a scuff controller by the way I said, the paddles over, but it's a scuff controller. These get worn out easy, and then they're smaller. I could use, I could use, uh, well, for my Xbox, I had used the FPS Freak and put it on top of the scuff stick. But when I go to the PlayStation controllers, I use the regular sticks. I don't like using uh, FPS Freaks on the regular sticks when it comes to a PlayStation, PlayStation controller. It just feels different. Anyway, uh, these FPS Freaks last longer. Way better quality lasts longer. So, I've been starting playing with it. Boom, you put it on, and you start gaming. I always use that. So, sometimes I, I used to, when I first got my scuff, no, uh, yeah, first got my scuff, they didn't ever have scuff sticks. Um, I had the one where you had the screws, they had to screw the paddles on, shit like that. And I always kept a, a low, a low stick on my left side for better grip. And I kept a, a stick, a, a PS Freak, on my right side. But I'm, what I'm gonna start doing is, so my left stick will last longer. I'm gonna put a a a, a lower a lower uh, SPS freak on my left side, just to keep the to keep the stick fresh on the left. Here's the, here's the other one right here. I could keep it fresh like this. Keep it fresh. Help my hands. You know, I gotta get used to it. It might, it might feel a little bit bigger, but I, I feel more precise more accurate and stuff like that but yeah this i like this control i like this version better than this when it comes to the design the back design it feels better um it's it, this one feel again this one feels bulkier a little bit bulkier this one feels my my flatter so i feel like i could relax more and the the button like i don't know it's not the big like you can't really see it but it's this how i play and i feel like i don't have to i can barely tap it and it work this one I, I feel like I could, you know, you can see that like the hand placement a little different. Let me see, if I, yeah, the hand placement look a little bit different. Maybe because also because I have the bottom one on, so it look different too. But it look a little different, you know what I'm saying? So I like this quality. Um, uh, I talked to and controller try to get like a sponsorship, but it told me I need 2,000 subs. But uh, help your boy, I'll get that. Um, the video I made when I first made this controller. I first got this controller because a lot of people was looking for a controller with paddles on it and at this time they didn't have no controllers but a controller and maybe um certain certain um other brands but it took two or three months to get it i took me two or three months to get it so uh, one thing i like about what amazon doing is allowing these companies to put their controllers with paddles on the back or you could get the you could buy the equipment to put the paddles on the back but like this controller somebody put the pedal the things on the back and this was <laughs> this didn't last long at all so i'd rather spend my money on i spent 135 dollars i could have used that 135 dollars to buy another 
amp controller, which I know the quality is gonna be good. This one is made by a person, and this shit broke off, and I, it's like a waste of money. So I'm gonna use this controller as a regular, a regular controller. Use it as a regular on um, to play like Madden, other other games besides shooters. And I use these controllers strictly for shooters, strictly for shooters. So um, next, I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna go get a probably like next week or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna get a and controller for Xbox. Uh, what I play on my Xbox, uh, I play with the Scuff Elite Series 2. Or I say Scuff, but it, it's made by Scuff but anyway, but uh, the Elite 2. Um, I like it, but I feel like it's kind of stiff. Like, it's it's, it's not loose as in when I play with, these, with uh, this particular uh, Xbox controller, Scuff. It feel kind of stiff with this. I, I, it's hard for me to get used to it, but I'm going to get another controller. We're going to go from there, man. Another Xbox controller. I'm going to get an aim. Then we'll try that scuff. I'm going to try that. Matter of fact, I could go I could get the scuff, uh, the new scuff um, controller that's on Xbox One right now. Order that from um, Amazon and have it come in like two days. It's like $229. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to be using. So, I add, you know, more reviews, more streams. Um, more stream quality coming up, new fonts, I'm going to try to get my stream look better, um, make my stream run better, so we're going to do that, you know. Uh, this is your boy Verse Tire Ridge, like, comment, subscribe, come watch your boy stream, I stream on Twitch and on YouTube, which is a video going on YouTube, help your boy out, help this channel grow, I need 2,000 subs, so I can so I can talk to Ann Couture, trying to get a sponsor, you know, trying to get them to help me out, and my biggest video is literally by is me reviewing an Ann Controller, so, you know, show your boy some love, man. Help your boy out. You know, peace out, man.